Hey, hey, it's Boat Doctor. Mr. Hellcat's in the garage hiding. Anyway, all the lights work. Uh, this is the double check. This one's going to make it in the, to the Stabycraft uh, magazine, uh, Chase and Tail. So it will be in there. Guarantee it. Got the FLIR system, camera, SIMRAD. Got the Sea View stanchion, the good 5225 antenna, reads the whole eight feet, trumpet horns. Got his uh, outrigger poles. You gotta tie those up. Maybe use a bungee or something because if you don't, they're gonna ping, just jet straight on back. So I got them all tied up. Uh, brake fluid's up underneath there. Already checked that. Two inch ball. Uh, Crisscross your uh, tie downs, flat five. You can get an adapter that goes into your seven. Flat foot jack, great way to go. Two speed jack, way to go. Keel roller bolt does not ride on that. Uh, just so you know, he's got a bow mount coming, still waiting. Got the plow anchor with the easy anchor anchor release if it gets stuck uh and then what's cool on the these are on a spool so they don't bind up on you uh that's one nice thing on these got the chain and the rope also these go down as you can see like this and that's good because that will drop the anchor if they're straight sometimes got to help them off uh got bow rails got a diesel heater got gear bath oil hubs good five lug 80 pound gets done all four uh 50 pound tire pressure on those lights are working cannons i don't know where they're at uh, i can't remember if they were on there the last time gas bills here you almost got three quarters of a tank tuna tubes here you got a remote 99 high thrust 11 by 7 prop total salt water protected both of these i just ran one of these with the forward laning with twin 150s i'm kind of divided uh, some some acts best the single 300 uh, I think it may be better in some points and then the twins got their features too so you know I think I don't think you're rated for twin 200s the inlines if you could that's what if I was going to go twins is what I'd put on there got trim tab got the 1k uh, transducer uh, you got your Yamaha salt water series too that's what you should have 15 diameter on any uh, V6 V8 motors uh, any inline Ford you should run a 14 diameter don't forget that upper drain plug that's easy to forget inspection cap to get to the back bolt on the motor ladder uh crab davit hey i used one of those i just got back from alaska they work great actually we pulled some good pots on those the only concern i got right now i think they switched trailers you got a spare tire and carrier see this is your anchor drain your pickup right there when you're unloading loading it is going to hit dead center so i don't know what they're going to do as far as adjusting it the only other thing you can do is kind of submerge it and then kind of submerge it when you're loading it makes it a little tough to keep the boat straight on the trailer but it can be done um, because you're the right height out the fenders but if you move those you're going to screw up the back ones uh, if there's none on the other side i'll show you over here <sighs> see this one wouldn't hurt too bad but then you got another one right up there you got to be careful of that you don't hit both of those you know i could be wrong by looking at this angle that could miss it we'll see okay i got them tied off and also he needs the serial number plate i don't see it back here this goes for the door cup holders cup holders rod holders you take the rope wrap it around go here wrap it around pull rope around just guide that in that's for your swivel that works filter uh change out once a year beginning of the season and if it was me i'd stick to the yamaha pump these up if you haven't run them for a while and if, if you can try to run the boat every 30 days if not put it on a hose and let them idle for about eight minutes batteries you got room for another one your snaps for your downriggers are in here lay table bait tank that's for your tuna tubes and then that's for your bait tank so they're open now so if you're going down the water even if you don't turn the switch on you'll probably get water in there so if you don't just shut that switch off and make sure you put the plug in right here because if you don't you're gonna have a lot of water coming in the boat 
these tilt down you just move that over and this tilts down that cushion goes in you got a sleeper unit grab rail this is like i say one of my favorite boats this and the 2500 that's for your outriggers speakers control for the main 